file explorer. One crucial part of Windows that has existed as far back as Windows Chicago B58S with file cabinet. Windows Explorer goes through several changes across various versions of Windows, but ever since Windows Vista, no significant changes that have been made other than ribbon integration in Windows 8 and command bar in Windows 11, and they are still built on top of the same foundation as Windows Vista apart from Zabla components in Windows 11. And then, on the 16th of February 2023, Microsoft announced that they were going to redevelop File Explorer using the new Windows App SDK, which unlocks more capabilities by utilising modern components from the all-new Windows 11. In this occasion, let's take a deep look at Microsoft's attempt to revive the decade-old code to the new File Explorer. Before we start, let's take a quick history of Windows Explorer. Introduced in Windows 95 in 1995, Windows Explorer started life as a replacement for Windows 3.1's File Manager. Windows Explorer also acted as the new shell for Windows 95. It received several improvements over time, such as the integration of Internet Explorer and so-called WebView via 1997's Windows Desktop Update for Windows 95 and Windows NT4, with these features later arriving out of the box with Windows 98. 2001's Windows XP added features such as a new task pane on the left-hand side of Explorer Windows, a new film strip view for pictures, as well as an integrated search UI. 2006's Windows Vista revamped Explorer with a so-called command bar replacing XP's task pane, plus a newly designed navigation tree, a new preview pane and so-called breadcrumbs. 2009's Windows 7 updated Explorer's colour scheme to better fit the operating system's design language, and 2012's Windows 8 replaced the command bar with the so-called ribbon interface first seen in Office 2007. 2015's Windows 10 brought more minor changes, such as another updated design, plus the addition of quick access. When Windows 11 came into play, specifically build 2200.51, the ribbon was once again changed to the command bar, and later, new features were slowly introduced, like tab functionality. And now we're here in the Windows 11 2022 update. 29 years after File Explorer's first implementation in Windows Chicago Build 58S, the base code of Windows 11's File Explorer hasn't been significantly changed ever since Windows Vista, which was 16 years ago. Everything ever since then has been built on top of Windows Vista's foundations, as you can see in several features that still have the same appearance as in Vista. And since it's basically the same foundation in Windows 10, you can trigger the ribbon in Windows 11 even though you aren't supposed to. So, it's clear that Microsoft needs to make some changes to the File Explorer in order to optimize it for Windows 11 by using modern libraries and modern components. So, with the WinUI Gallery updates, uh, we also wanted to share some news with File Explorer. Okay, so Microsoft did make a change by moving File Explorer to Windows App SDK, or WinApp SDK for short. What is uh, Windows App SDK? What's the relation to File Explorer? Well, as some of you may know, currently, applications in Windows are built from the Microsoft Windows SDK, which allows you to develop applications, whether via Win32 or .NET. All versions of Windows since 98 have officially supported the latter approach. However, 
we have a platform known as UWP, which is derived from Windows 8 and is now only compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 11. This creates boundaries between the two, as Win32 and .NET provided wide compatibility across versions of Windows depending on the developer, but UWP gives you the latest technologies from the latest version of Windows, giving more liberation to developers for developing applications. Microsoft tried to tie up the two by aligning them as one application in Windows 10 1903, and Microsoft stopped referring to Win32.NET and UWP as different apps and instead, they called them as apps, like what previous versions of Windows have been. And in Windows 11, Microsoft officially unified the two with the all-new Microsoft Store, which allows for both packaged installers or raw binary files of Win32 apps, .NET apps, and UWP apps all to coexist within the store. And with all that, Microsoft decided to create Project Reunion which provides a unified set of APIs and components that can be used to develop .NET desktop applications that utilize modern features. These features were previously exclusive to just UWP apps. Simply reuniting all foundations of Windows app development into this SDK, which would later be known as the Windows App SDK, which was initially released as a preview back in March 29, 2021. Now, looking at the file explorer, Microsoft actually tried to make it look modern with the Windows 11 version adding the new command bar as well as the new tab system. Both of them are transplanted from WinUI 2 with the proprietary XAML islands and is actually quite good to achieve that kind of integration to decade-old code. But if Microsoft decided to do this over and over again, File Explorer will later become one of the giant pancake with layers and layers of code stacked upon one another. And here's why the decision to redevelop File Explorer with Windows App SDK makes sense. To prevent later issues regarding the app for a later version of Windows, probably Windows 12, but before the announcement was even made, Microsoft already quietly integrated the new File Explorer with several new features. Two new strings are added to the build 25246.1000, compiled on November 11, 2022, in the Details pane Extensions Resources.xbf file. Build 25267 reveals several velocity IDs related to the rejuvenation. In Build 25272, which was compiled on December 16, 2022, Two months before the announcement, a new gallery feature is revealed via Velocity ID. This feature is still early in development, as we don't know how it works, as in this build only shows contents in the Pictures folder. The next build after this, build 25276, compiled on January 6, 2023, gave a new look at the Details pane, which was redesigned with XAML. Also found in this build, there is a new Velocity feature named XAML Folder Review Support, which doesn't do anything yet, foreshadowing the new rewriting program. Several people such as Zach Bowden from Windows Central noticed this change by stating Microsoft looks to be working on a major design update for the File Explorer on Windows 11, which will introduce a modernized home and folder interface to match the already modernized header first introduced with Windows 11 last year, quoting a tweet from Firecube Studios on Twitter showing a mock-up of said feature according to spotted references and code. Dark mode for the details pane was later added starting from build 25281. A few weeks later, this rejuvenation program by Microsoft shows that they are going to modernize several core areas of the app whilst having better integration to OneDrive and Microsoft Office. By looking at the internal mockup, you can see that they are going to reconstruct the navigation system as well as the command bar by switching the position between the two. It feels like the navigation components are going to be based on modern WinUI and Home shows the integration to OneDrive by showing the recommended pinned and recent files that are tied to the service. As for the details pane, we can see that it combines the general properties of the file and OneDrive integration by activity, related files and related conversations. One enhanced tab feature, the Terra tab, is quietly supported via a Velocity ID and the details pane feature was forcibly disabled in build 25390. Assumption regarding the new file explorer started to arise with the recommendation system being added to a system file named propsys.dll.mun. 
What people have been talking about, the new file explorer, had become a reality by build 25300 compiled on February 10th, 2023, which was roughly a few days before the announcement. The new file explorer can be identified with the pizza icon on the command bar, which indicates whether it's the old file explorer or the new one. Gallery, which was first seen in build 25272, had been updated with a timeline scroll bar and the ability to add an external library slash folder rather than just one pictures folder. And then on February 16th, 2023, the announcement was made. Uh, we've been working really closely with the File Explorer team over the last year plus uh, to migrate the app to WinApp SDK and WinUI 3. So File Explorer is on WinApp SDK is going to be available soon in the Windows Insider Program update channels. This announcement was met with various responses, some of them excited about the change, some of them worried, and some of them complaining about it. A blog post from Windows Latest gives the best summary out of all. In short, this could allow the File Explorer to access WinUI 3 features more easily, and it could result in a significant design revamp at some point in the future. However, there are concerns that Windows App SDK could make File Explorer more buggy. It's been observed that XAML and similar modern components are slower than the traditional Win32 UIs. And this seems to be the case, as apparently apps that are made with the Win32 foundation are interestingly faster than those with UWP. By performing a test with Windows Photo Viewer and Photos at the same time in Windows 11, the Windows Photo Viewer is significantly faster, as it loads less resources than the Photos app. Now a question you may ask, how? How can it be slower than the older one? Isn't the newer technology supposed to be faster? Well, let's talk about how the two interact with the OS. Win32 was first implemented in Windows NT 3.1 back in 1993. It consists of three core dynamic libraries, kernel32.dll, user32.dll, and gda32.dll. Kernel32.dll deals with the relation between software and hardware, such as memory management, input-output processes, threads, etc. User32.dll deals with basic user components such as menus, windows, and desktop. And lastly, gta32.dll deals with drawing functions such as text output, font management, and other similar functions. As for UWP applications, even though developers don't have to use XML for the UI, Microsoft, in this case, and with the case of other applications such as Photos, which uses WinUI 3, uses XML. For your information, XAML is a declarative XML-based language. XML is a markup language like HTML. It is generally used on the World Wide Web. Although XML is human and machine readable, it is known to be criticized for verbosity, complexity, and redundancy. The same applies with XAML, as it's a declarative programming language which tells the computer what to achieve, like giving instruction to a teenager or a young adult, rather than imperative programming languages which tells the computer how to achieve, like giving instruction to a baby or a kid, such as C and C++, which Win32 mostly uses. But for now, we'll see how Microsoft can achieve that change flawlessly. Bill 25309, which was compiled on February 24th, 2023, rolled out the new Windows App SDK file explorer to all users. But Phantom Motion 3 stated that most of the XAML bits did not work in this build. Aside from that, three feature IDs have been found by Phantom Motion 3 with the origin from Xenopanther, who found a new dialog change in shell32.dll.mui. A few days later, Microsoft decided to change its insider program by splitting the then current dev channel into two. The dev channel itself was rebooted and provided new features and experiences from the Nickel engineering milestones with the 23000 build series. The new second channel was known as Canary and provided access to more under the hood changes for APIs, the Windows kernel and more from the new Zinc and later Gallium engineering milestones with the 25000 build series. On March 8, both Dev and Canary Channel gets a new build. 
Canary gets build 25314 and Dev gets build 23403, which both enabled file recommendation for several users on the Acer Active Directory joint devices. The next dev build, 23419, which was released to the insiders on March 22nd, features a new homepage and recommendation functions based on XAML, with larger titles and new animation when opening the page. Both can be enabled via feature IDs. The form of both is still in early state as it's still nowhere close to the current file explorer. As for Canary, build 25324 hints at the new navigation bar with navigation bar extension resources.xbf. As you can see in this reconstruction, the search box has been modernized as well as the navigation buttons on the left. The new file explorer is arriving on Canary as of build 25330 with the feature disabled by default and galleries less broken. Meanwhile, the tear out and merge file explorer tabs feature is force disabled in this build. While the dev build 23430 reintroduces the details pane with more finished design and adding the collections option on the command bar to choose what folder or library you want to display in gallery. The XML version of homepage is present in this build too, albeit it's still looking a bit unfinished. The next dev build only refines the gallery feature and is rolling out officially for some insiders. The home is yet again getting new features with build 23440 and it gives the details pane switch to the right side of the command bar with preview support. As for Canary, build 25346 backported the new details pane and updated home page seen in build 23440. Unfortunately, all of these good things do not last long. As of build 25352, Microsoft disabled all of these features, including the new file explorer. And in the dev build, the Terran merge tabs feature is refined with a less clunky way of just spawning another instance of explorer.exe with no memories of the past. Meanwhile, on Microsoft's developer YouTube channel, they uploaded a video announcing Windows Copilot, and it's where the blinker miss it moment comes as the new file explorer makes a brief cameo for two seconds as this is the first time where Microsoft teases the new File Explorer officially rather than by the community. Let's see what they showed to us and align it with the current build. The positions of the command bar and navigation bar haven't been changed. The details switch on the command bar has been added. The highlighted directory slash library is different. And the favorites and recent text is a little different with the bold one on build 23440. The road has started to become clearer with an updated address bar, search box, and other updates appearing in build 23466, but they are hidden. Build 23471 rolls out the gallery feature to everyone, as well as tear and merge tabs for several users, which will be available to everyone by build 23481. Build 23475 rolled out the new homepage and subsequently introduced a nice going animation for starting a backup. This roadmap of Happy Meals finishes with the new file explorer finally arriving to beta channels starting from build 22631.1972, albeit disabled by default, and Canary users can finally re-embrace the new file explorer with build 25905 with only the gallery feature and enabling all features by build 25915. At this point, the new file explorer only had to get several minor fixes before the final release on Windows 11 version 23H2, presumably when built 22631.2050, which enables the new file explorer by default, and build 23516, which adds several adjustments and more property fields that would later be backported to build 25931.1000 and build 22631.2191. And now, with the new file explorer going to arrive, several beta users are already complaining about it due to its noticeably slow performance. This is why I told you earlier about the distinct differences of old and new file explorer. Gustav Mons over Twitter showcased how two devices run file explorer. Not only Gustav alone, many users are sharing their experience on the slowness of the program. Most of us already know infamously that Microsoft is known to be a savage when it comes to compatibility. Even as far as softwares from 1990s are still able to run under the new technology decades later. 
This leaves some issues with the if the code works don't touch it slogan as we see that many of programs are either just poorly redesigned or straight up a blast from the past. But with this new set of change, Microsoft tried to deny that slogan by trying to modernize one of Windows core components with new technology even though they are still haunted by the performance issues as well as the code's ineffectiveness. But despite that, they already tried to listen to its users with several ways in order to make Windows even better. As Windows 11 version 23 is right around the corner this or next month, this new file explorer has gotten its potential to utilize more modern features whilst having to achieve better performance and it's about time for other programs and components to be modernized by Microsoft in order to better suit the new era of bringing Windows to the people you love.